what is going on guys welcome to another video if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who i am my name is jeremy welcome to jeremy's wild world now you saw it from today's title guys today's video is going to be a revamp of my communal enclosure this being my desert communal consisting of a desert hairy scorpion h harris and blue death failing beetles now there's nothing wrong with the communal i could keep it exactly how it is but for me i want to change how it looks and i picked up some substrate and everything and some supplies from the eastern invert show and i was like you know what let's make a video out of it and see how you guys enjoy it so that's pretty much today's video guys i'm going to show you what the communal enclosure currently looks like and the process of me revamping the enclosure now before i get into today's video guys i just want to quickly say that according to my youtube statistics a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed so if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content now without further ado guys let's get into showing you the communal enclosure all right guys so before we get into today's video i just wanted to quickly show you the current state of my communal as well as where it currently resides in my bedroom i mean my bug room sorry <laughs> but yes yeah, so as you can see guys here is the communal currently sitting on my windowsill uh, next to a couple other inverts here we have a tank of uh, p herida horrid king assassin bugs got some adults in here some younger nymphs and some babies i've produced got quite a few of these guys see there's a couple of them in the back as well and I've got a fauna perma Somani, a suspect female, and on top I've got a, a e trig. And yeah, so this is the current communal, the main focus of today's video. As you can see, here is one of the residents of the communal, the Deafening beetles. Got six of them in here. Really, really cool species. And if I just quickly zoom in here, you can see the other resident resident of this communal, which is the H. Arizonensis Desert Hairy Scorpion. Now, as you can see sharing its burrow with the blue death thing beetles they don't bother each other they're more than happy to stay in a communal together and yeah so it's a great community if you guys want to try something different but yeah so why i want to redo this communal is because i'm not a big fan of the substrate currently just have a cocoa fiber sand substrate mix now it does work but i do want to give them more uh, digging space um the desert hair is always redoing the tank and i feel like if i give it the substrate that i picked up at the eastern invert show be more comfortable and so with the blue deafening beetles i'll be digging around much more and yeah so let's start the chit chat and get into redesigning this enclosure so guys let's jump straight into redoing this communal enclosure as you can see i went ahead off camera and took out pretty much all of the decoration that was in here and the majority of the substrate leaving a little bit out of the bottom just as a base for the enclosure and yeah so let's get into starting off with adding the main substrate which is going to be this stuff which is the mk exotic scrublum den now i have used a little bit of it already as you can tell the bag is fairly empty um, at the top but yeah so i'm really happy with the substrate and I'm basically just going to be using a lot of this allowing the scorpion to make deep burrows as it so pleases and also allowing the blue death beetles to dig around as well and yeah so let's see how much that works we'll have a look and see I'm happy with the level it's at. So what I want to do guys, I don't want it to pile up too much at the front. I mainly want the substrate to be nearer to the back, like so. Packed it down just a little bit. But yeah, so as you can see, predominantly going to be this um, substrate mix, which is great because now the scorpion will be able to have a bar that can actually hold up instead of it collapsing on itself all the time. Just gonna add a little bit more substrate. So I'm gonna save the rest for something else. Maybe one of my centipedes. I'll use the substrate for one of my desert centipedes. I'll use the substrate for them. Basically just wanna pack it down and everything. The front, I want the blue death vein beetles to still be visible front like they were in the previous enclosure and yeah so that's going to be the main base for this enclosure now let's get the wood pieces in so one new wood piece i've added this uh, cork bark tube uh, this is actually the leftover bit from my uh, evapora diversa piece so i want to use this as the scorpions main burrow do is I'll bury this tip here like so so it kind of just looks like it's coming out of the ground like it was like a, a root system or something like that yeah 
there. So get some sand around it like so. Sorry, my fingers were in the way just then, but yeah, so you can see I've just put the uh, cork tube in like that. And I think I'll just reuse this piece here just as another flat piece for them to, to bury under and hide away as blue death fainting beetles typically do. And you know what? I'll reuse this piece as well. Stick that in the middle like this. Gives them a little bit more climbing space because I found that the blue death fainting beetles do like to climb around and everything. So that'd be good for them. And yeah, so got that piece in. Have this little branch here. I can stick like in the corner like so, give it a more deserty look. Now I'm quite happy with how it looks so far. I've got also some moss, but I'll be adding that in a bit after I add some desert sand. Also from MK Exotics, pick this up at the Western Indian show. Components on the top. This has like a texture bit. So I'll just add some, as I see fit, don't want to spill it everywhere. There we go. So I'm just gonna add it around, make it all look nice and everything. There we go. Give it a more deserty look. Like so. Add a little bit in the corner here. Pretty happy with how this looks and there we go that's the enclosure add a little bit of moss now this moss won't be sprayed I'll keep it dry give it a more like a cactusy look I'll just sprinkle little bits throughout the enclosure I like that it's still green so it looks live and everything and yeah so that's the new communal enclosure guys what do you guys think? I am quite happy with how this has turned out. I think it looks fantastic. So let's get the inhabitants back in and see how they like it. Alright guys, so let's get these little ones back in the enclosure, starting off with the blue death fainting beetles, as you can see they're just sitting in this tub temporarily, and let's just put them in. Now I know for a fact that this enclosure looks really really good now, but I know the blue death fainting beetles will start moving everything around, as well as the arizonensis will start digging everything. So let's just appreciate how it looks while it is now, and we'll see how the inhabitants turn it around in the future. So you see the blue death thing beetles are just gonna start wandering around now They're like whoa this is new where are we that one that <laughs> went to the left just scurried right off and you can see right here guys they are just in awe right now They're like whoa this was all different sand and everything they seem to quite enjoy the new substrate immediately moving around and everything they'll probably find their own spots to hide and everything and yeah, so let's get the chunky Arizonensis in there too, as you see, sitting in here. Probably going to be a real grump getting out of the enclosure. And I'm just going to nudge it in like so. Let it walk in on its own. Going off to the right, as you see right here. Oh, there's one of the blue death fainting beetles already walking inside the cork tube, as to be expected. Let's give it a little zoom in there. And yeah, so that's the revamped communal enclosure. Really, really happy with how it turned out. I hope uh, the little Arizonensis enjoys the uh, cork tube and everything and enjoys the new substrate. And yeah, so that's the end of today's video, guys. Let's get into the outro.
So guys, that's in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the revamped communal enclosure. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out visually wise. And of course, the inhabitants are really enjoying it as well. The blue death fainting beetles are already wandering around the enclosure, digging around and finding their hiding spots, as well as the desert hairy scorpion already digging itself a nice burrow. And yeah, so that's the end of today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate it if you guys would follow me on my Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World underscore, as well as Jeremy's Wild World dot sales. I'm really active on Instagram, posting pictures and videos of the animals and inverts that I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. So if you guys enjoyed these style of videos, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.